What's good, boxing world? I am your host, Nice, and welcome to the Fight Room. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you do for the latest boxing news feedback and entertainment. Now, Errol Spence versus Danny Garcia tonight. Fox PBC pay per view. Now, we all know, you know, I'm tired of talking about it like everyone else is the prior car accident for, for Spence. You know, 50-50 bout for me for tonight. Danny Garcia has a good shot of beating Errol Spence, I believe. Why? You know, he, he packs power with both hands, you know. Errol Spence is going to have a lot of ring rust. Danny, too. That's the thing. Danny, too. But, you know, Errol Spence was slacking before, before the car accident. He was slacking in the gym. You know, and then the car accident happened, and then the COVID-19. So, it's been quite, quite a while that he's really been, you know, hitting the gym and being 100% focused. Though he say he is 100% ready and prepared. We really don't know. We really don't know. He could just be saying that, you know, for the fight's sake, you know. Want to get this fight done. And you know what, man? I got to give him respect. Taking on Danny Garcia right from the rip. I give him that. I got to give him that credit for him taking such an opponent, you know, he just want to go swim with the sharks, like he said. He doesn't want to be swimming in with little fishes or not or whatnot. That's what Errol Spence always had said and stated before. He wants to be swimming in with the sharks. So, you know, it is what it is. He's going to be swimming in tonight with a, a big shark in Danny Garcia. One that packs power in both hands and has some skills in boxing, man. And he's definitely... A top-notch fighter in the welterweight division. He's been in the game for several years. And you cannot take none away from Danny Garcia, man. He only has two losses to two great fighters in Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. Now, tonight is going to be another fight. A big one for Danny. And, you know, if Danny doesn't pull this win, his career could go, you know, it can be bad for his career down the line. So, he's taking a chance with this fight tonight. And I'm guessing that he knows what he's put his, you know, his career in. He knows what he, he what, what he's doing. He put his career on the line. And he has to know that he has to defeat Danny, excuse me, Errol Spence in order to become more successful in the welterweight division and in boxing. Now, he has to do that. He has to win in order for his career to skyrocket. If it don't, if he doesn't, then it's going to be not a good career down the line for Danny Garcia not stating he won't get fights he will get fights no question and he will be winning a lot of those fights but as far as you know rankings money and whatnot and promotions it's not gonna be there you know what I'm saying everybody has their downfall and I'm hoping that either guy is prepared for their downfall now, I'm not taking nothing away from Danny. I believe that Danny has a chance to win. Danny is a good fighter. He has gotten better to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, every defeat has a higher calling. You know, you learn from that. And I believe that Danny Garcia has learned from that. And he's gotten and made himself better in the sport. Even though we know, I know, I'm going to be honest, that there hasn't been a lot of new skills and tools in Danny's you know bag being that you know he's with his dad Angel and not taking nothing away from Angel he's been doing good with Danny Danny wouldn't be able to be where he's at if it wasn't for Angel but what I'm saying is Danny needs a couple of more things in his belt you know he's, so he can you know use in the ring he needs some more tools and not taking none away from Danny, he is exceptionally a well-rounded fighter. You know what I'm saying? He's just flat-footed. And if he was just to engage a little bit more and throw more combinations instead of just being so patient, he would be so so much better, so much excellent if he was to practice these tools and and you know and master them. But overall, he's still a good fighter. Not taking nothing away from him. I believe he has a chance to win against Errol Spence. A lot of people are taking him out. I doubt that. Danny has a good chance to win. Danny has power in both hands. 
They only thinking about his left hook. He has a straight right hand that is vicious. Both hands he hits hard. And we seen, not for nothing, we have seen Errol Spence get hit quite well with Kell Brook and Sean Porter. Sean Porter rocked him a few times. Yes, he did. And not for nothing, I believe that Danny hits just a little bit harder than Sean Porter. So we're going to see. We're going to see tonight what is going to happen. I believe that Errol Spence is definitely a divine boxer with su su you know, superior skills. And he's going to show that tonight. Is he going to fight like Errol Spence? That's the question. Is he going to, you know, put the pressure on Danny and, and from the rip? Because you know that Errol Spence has always been that type of fighter. He says he's going to put pressure and going to bring out the dog in him. Now, is he going to do that with Danny from the rip? We'll see. We'll see. We don't know. That's why this fight is 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 anticipated actually you know before maybe not you know a lot of people would have been like you know spence got him and even with prior to the car accident prior to that if before the car accident of course a lot of people had errol spence taking danny out a lot of people which was unfortunate because danny should get some somewhat more respect than they give him and more credit than he deserves he should get more credit and I respect Danny and I give him all the credit in the world because he is where he's at. He's a good fighter. Straight up. He wouldn't be where he's at if he was not a good fighter. You can't take that away from him. He has heart too. He just has to put more in that heart and take more chances when the time is at hand. Because, you know, with, with Sean Porter, he just hesitated a little bit too long. And to me, he had the better punches. Honestly, I was watching the fight again. And Danny Garcia had the better punches throughout that fight. The only thing was, he just hesitated. He was lacking punches. You know, his his, his punch output wasn't wasn't that, but that much, pretty much. So if he would have just engaged a little bit more with Sean Porter, took more chances, he would have got the victory. But it is what it is. Now he's going to face the killer. Is supposedly in the one. 47 pound division the king the, as they say in the pbc side errol spence so let's see what happens you already know it is your boy nice tonight is the night you already know it's your boy nice like comment subscribe till then most of all don't forget share the fight road